Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. And I'm back for the first one of the week that I actually liked. I mean, the best of the week, I should say, would be Boom Studios' Seven Secrets, number two. It's written by Tom Taylor, Danielle Dinkulo, however pronounce that is the artist and Walter Baila Montes the inker. This is a really good book. It is another career owned comic done by Tom Taylor. And the basic gist of the story is there are seven secrets that are needed that need to be protected, you know, boom, uh, for the sake of the world. You don't know what the secrets are, but you have one person who, one person each, feet secret, who holds the secret, you know, it's in a suitcase, and the per another person who is protecting that person. It's done by uh, this, you know, ultra secret organization, and this is the second issue. You have it is being told by a person by the name of Casper, who is I think he's one of the protectors. And in the first one, you know, he's, they're uh, working on getting away from someone who's trying to capture Casper's secret. And it turns out like a mole inside the organization and his protector dies. That's in the first one. In this one, you learn more about what's going on. You get some backstory on Casper. Who's telling the story? His parents were One of the holders of the secret and her protector. They developed a relationship and they had a kid, which is not allowed. So Casper was not allowed to be even. You know, they couldn't keep the kid. They they weren't supposed to be having a relationship. Uh, so he was taken away from them, and they were he was supposed to be sent away and just not having any involvement. But the the leader of the organization was talked to into having him sent off somewhere else with one of the other uh, secret holders and allowed to be raised away from his parents. And then he was brought back and started to learn uh, the art. Of, uh, it looks like he's a protector. And he didn't know who his parents were. Uh, and he, I guess he did finally find out. And it was his father who was... Or he was learning how to find... You know, I'm, I'm, I think he was the one of the uh, holders, and his father wanted to be protector. And then his father died at the end of last issue. And this, this one actually goes more into how he was raised and how he got the situation he was in. So there is a big, you know, giant conspiracy going on in this thing, and it's being told in hindsight so it's a really interesting well paced well done typical tom taylor uh story and if you like this type of thing you know the whole you know ultra secret organization holding you know protecting the world 
by keeping secrets and then fight a conspiracy against him. This is one of those, but it is very well done because, you know, hell, it's Tom Taylor. Everything I've read of his has been really good. Uh, this is number two, so you could probably go back and get a you know, issue of the first floppy, and if you can't wait until there's a second printing, because I'm fairly sure they're going to do a reprint if they need to, but pick it up. I want to give this a four, excuse me, out of five, and excuse me, and recommend it. So, Seven Secrets, number two. Pick it up. It'll be worth your, your time. And uh, like, subscribe, and enjoy your comments.